It starts with a simple welcome that echoes from the past, but calls to the present. From the town hall in beautiful Abita Springs, Louisiana. The Abita Springs Opry is more than a show. It's a time machine journey through the deep roots of Louisiana music. The Abita Springs Opry is an attempt to preserve Louisiana's musical cultural heritage. It is definitely like things that I went to as a kid and got that sort of small town, old school, family friendly vibe, which is how I grew up playing music too, you know, like just barn dances and things like that. So this is in that tradition of the old school, you know, the old school town operas. It's also a spotlight shining on the upbeat future of Louisiana Roots music by highlighting those artists who are upholding its traditions and expanding its reach. There's something very special about the music that we have developed in Louisiana and in this a reflection of our cultural diversity. So, you know, there's a whole gumbo that goes together. And like a good gumbo, it needs to be shared, savored, and celebrated. People in this area appreciate and love traditional music. They love good music. Like Louis Armstrong said, there's two kinds of music, good music and bad music. But I ain't gonna buy my ring. Abita Springs Opry is all about good music. Tonight, Vanessa's band, Gail Halliday and the Honky Talk Review, is part of the Opry's bill, which, as it always does, includes a little bit of a lot of Louisiana. Something I can lose. We've had everything from bluegrass to zydeco and everything in between on this stage. No, I ain't gonna buy my Besides having Louisiana provide the backbeat, the Roots music played here shares the common bond of being a soundtrack for a good time. Preservation rarely feels this fun, but this is Louisiana. I think people around the world enjoy the music, but here people are a little more free to actually enjoy enjoy it. It's just something about the ambiance, the atmosphere, just the, the feeling you get in this building. The enjoyment comes only six times a year to the century-old wooden town hall, where an all-ages crowd gathers to clap hands, tap toes, and reminisce about the past while making memories in the present. At the Abita Springs Opry, it all comes together perfectly. You know, and I don't think that the Opry and the music we're presenting here would work as well in a more theatrically proper venue. You know, it's the, the gumbo cooks right here. And it's the perfect recipe for a taste of Louisiana that the heart can hear. Sorry, taste buds. This gumbo is for the soul and for a past preserved and presented perfectly. Hey,